Okay guys, here we go. Now, as you can see, I did some major modifications to my room this week. As you can see, normally in the background you see a bunch of like, I had to Naruto, I had a Naruto Stormfall poster. But this time, I kind of stepped up the boundaries to modify my room to a whole new level. So as you can see, I got a bunch of Sailor Moon posters and a Black Clover poster and Penny and Stocking poster. All this from Anime NYC. But now, since they're major modifications, oh, you know, it's alright. But now, as you see in my background now, I decided to go to talk about Juni Tensai, aka Zodiac War. Now, I took some freaking notes in this, and it's not a joke. Like, I've been, like, trying to figure out what the hell happened in episode 11, because God forbid, this episode of Zodiac War was literally the greatest. And as we code, as we count down to next week's episode, the final, final chapter of Zodiac War, we are at its peak. And like all of us, we all knew, hands down, the rat was going to win. Because the rat is clearly the strongest one of all. I mean, why do you think he's the strongest Zodiac of all time? If you look at the Chinese Zodiac, it's always the year of the rat. And then it's just like, and then it's just picture, and then it's just like automatically, you already know, hands down, the rat was brolic. I mean, come on, have you guys watched Ido Tama? The rat is brolic. And it was clear, it was clearly how the rat went. But the thing about the, the rat in this show is, he won the match, but the way he played it really stands out as why. Why didn't he fight? I mean, let's get real, guys, let's be real. He hasn't fought a lot in this episode. He hasn't, matter of fact, he hasn't fought at all. I mean, sure, he ran away from the headless snake, but that's all I can give him, that's all I can give credit to. But still, he hasn't done any action pack, all that rigorous training just to kill a person. I mean, we haven't even seen him slice anything. But as I continue on, let me just talk about what transpired in episode 11 right now, as soon as I get started on this page. Sorry about the second notes. All right, so now, I want to take a shout out to the Ox. The Ox played the way how it goes. We kick things off with the aftermath of the continuation of our dear best girl of the show, the Tiger. Now, the Tiger is, now we just lost the Tiger. Now the Ox is facing the Rabbit. And I gotta be honest, the Rabbit looks so fucking creepy with all the corpses' bodies together. I mean, I want to make a point. The rat, the rabbit, the rabbit in this show completely looks the is the creepiest character of Juni Tensai at all. I mean, he looks like a fine ass at Freddy's character with those mechanical animal uh, electronic toy figurines, you know, those little uh, stuffed animals. He's kind of creepy, and it's even more creepier. It's like looking at Tokyo Ghoul. And he's in mod in modded with all body parts. It's creeping me out. It's like a ball, an ugly ass boss battle or something. He's the it's so creepy. Granted, if it was censored, I would we would have seen all of it. We would have seen how if how he stitched up all these body corpses and say, Ew, so nasty. But hey, that's gory as it is. I mean, we dying for that. Now, how he became what it is with all those body parts, the monkey. Now, you guys remember the monkey's dead, but she, the human body of it still lives. So what the monkey did, dead monkey girl did, was that she stitched the, monk, the parts of all the dead bodies and then pack it. And then the monkey had to stuff her body into that stuffed animal. Again, it's like Fun Ass at Freddy's. Put the, put the characters in a stuffed animal to get crazy. That's how it is. It is fucking scary to see that. Like, it's all stitched up. It's really great, though. I wish the only problem with this episode, and I'm gonna regret, and I'm gonna hate this, is that be honest, you want it censored. I mean, you want it uncensored. Cause I'm sick and tired of shows like this that you wish you wanted to see it uncensored, but you can't. So now you have to like find another source to see it's uncensored. Also, guys, if you guys know a source that I could watch Juni Tensai uncensored, where I could see all the head chopped off and all that shit, let me know. So the ox is facing the rabbit one on one. But then all of a sudden, as soon as he cut off the open chart, the monkey came out of it like some ectoplasma shit and grabbed the ox. Now, 
the Ox got the Ox got no Ox got nothing left to lose. You know, he tried and didn't do nothing. And looking back with his few, his back uh, flashback with the with the tiger, which we ship, he put up a good fight. But then the rat came right on time, and all he did, and this is gonna shock you, all he did was just grab a bomb like this. Let me use this candle myself. Like he grabbed a big old C4 and just that he got from the sheep and just planted right next to him. That's it. Even the ox know he was gonna die, and the ox know that the rat is kind and all that stuff. He thought he was a villain, thought he was a hero, but the rat is just. Your typical high school kid. And just like that, when the C4 exploded, poosh, both the both the ox and the and the rabbit finally, finally, he's fucking dead. And if that's and then if that's the only way to kill it, please, please, please just just please let it kill it already. We, people try so many times to kill the rabbit, but now we find a way. You just blow him up to smithereens. And just like that, he's dead. Now, the rat won. He won, which is obvious because he's the number one Zodiac. What happened is, and I took this note, his, as I watched the part when he got all 12 gems, every incident, every incident that has happened to him, I thought it has something to do with the TV that I was watching, like rewinding it back. And I'm like, did something happen to the TV? Did something happen to the show? I don't know. Because they keep rewinding back of every death that he has come, uh, that he came by. The elevator, getting hanged, getting shot, pushing down the stairs, head chopped off, getting run over by a car. Every possibility of him leaving is caused by death. And then I asked myself, how is this possible? Are we, are we watching the show over and over again? And I'm looking at the timer and I'm like, no, it's continuing. Because the rat's ability Let's just say, out of all the abilities of the show, out of all the top five greatest abilities in Juni Tensai, the rat to me is number one. Second to that, I'll give it to the tiger. And third, I'll give it to the rooster. Those are the top three best moves I could, special abilities in Juni Tensai I could think of. But those are the best three. Now, I wrote, I wrote a note about what his ability is. Bear with me on this. It's called the 100 Path of Nezumi. Now, his ability is the realm of possibilities. It has 100 different choices at once and then select which one in reality. So it's like, it's like an autosave. Picture yourself playing, restarting the game over and over again 100 times just to find a good possibility to beat the game. You know, it's like Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, you know? You kind of like, when you reach the Elite Four, you kind of like reset it 100 times just, just to make a maneuver, just to beat the Elite Four. Oh, but yeah, when you see that Necromancer Pokemon, that legendary one that fuses with the legendary Pokemon, and you had that 100 possibilities because his stats increase, and you're like, what, how you do it, how you do it, you keep beating it. That's 100 possibilities just to win. Another example is like you playing rock, paper, scissors. He could throw a rock, paper, or scissors at the same time. Knowing the possibilities could be a win or a lose. So, as he tried every possibility, it's like he knows every ounce of possibilities can, is failing at his best. Because I remember with the monkey, like th it's like the monkey knows his ability, but the rat, I mean, but the rat doesn't want to show the ability to the monkey. Because if he would have said it, if the rat would have told the monkey the ability that he has, he, maybe he would have saved the monkey. I don't know. He would have. He would have saved most of the people, but he wouldn't, you know, but he don't want to be... Because if, if they find out his ability, then the rabbit will kill the rat, and the rabbit will win. That's why the rat wanted to keep it a secret and not tell everybody his OP, because if he's OP, they're going to use him for advantage. Now, being that the rat won, don't you think it's a little off after watching all the deaths and wins and losses and this, don't you think it's a little bit high risk how... Every Zodiac died in order. The only problem, the only difference is the snake died first. So it's not in order. But if it was, then we understand. Because look, this is what happened. Okay, just let's, okay, let's all recap everything that happened so far. The boar got stabbed by a rabbit. Like, yeah, the boar, the pig, in the beginning, she got stabbed by a, she got stabbed by the rabbit and a necro, and a necro snake, right? 
the dog head destroyed the rooster. Meaning the rooster destroyed just crushing the dog's head. The rooster, well, she got stabbed in the forehead by the ox. Monkey, she got stabbed by the rabbit. Goat, stabbed by the tiger. The horse, uh, he was choked by the smoke from the from the necro snake. The snake was killed in the first episode, but then burned up by the ox. The dragon was sliced in half by the rabbit and then burnt by the ox. Tiger was executed by the ox. And the rabbit and the, and the uh, ox was blown by the rat and he won. So basically, if you look at it in the orderly fashion, in the Chinese zodiac order, the rat won. Ox second, rabbit third. So it's in order. The only difference is, like I said, the rat, I mean, the snake died first. So basically, the order is kind of wrong, but in the order between the top three, they kind of like kept in low. So yeah, they did that. Yeah, so yeah, they did that in perspective. So now, the rat, however, got a choice. He got wishes. And I wish to know what his wish was. With all these 100 abilities, 100 different possibilities of wishes, he's got to pick one. That's all I'm saying. So that's it. So, again, this episode is really great. We get to see the rat winning, obviously. We get to see the, um, the standout of his abilities, which we finally know his ability is over, is over power. And, Save, save we we bid farewell to the ox. He put up a good fight. He survived all the way, and we're gonna miss him. But the rabbit, who fucking cares? He's dead. Finally, <sighs> finally. But that's it. So tune in next week for the season finale of Juni Tensai. Mm -mm.